Well, check this out. Google's dropping another course, cybersecurity training to help build a safer world. They were kind enough to send me an email just a moment ago, 13 minutes to be exactly, announcing the new Google cybersecurity certificate is here. Hey, let's take a look. Because you know what? I like puzzles, and that's what cybersecurity is all about, right? Cracking codes, stuff like that, hacking. Ethically, that is. So over here on the Grow with Google certificate page, we'll just walk through some overview stuff and see what this program is all about. I did another video. It'll be linked up in the cards above and in the description below on the new data analytics advanced certificates, which are also super intriguing. But for this one, we've got a nice hundred grand median entry level salary front and center. Of course, that's going to attract a lot of folks right there. Learn more about the certificate uh, programming for cybersecurity tasks, frameworks, industry standard tools. OK, here again, just like in the advanced analytics, we've got Python, we've got SQL. We're also going to be getting into Linux, which is a, a great thing. I am uh, not surprised to see that, doing some command line stuff. Event management tools, intrusion detection systems. All right, and here we've got the certificate curriculum. We got foundations. Usually these intro classes, in my experience, have been super intro. But hey, you got to start somewhere, play it safe, managing security risks, connect and protect network stuff, uh, Linux and SQL, some tools of the trade, Assets, threats, and vulnerabilities, sound the alarm, detection response, automate cybersecurity tasks with Python, and then put it to work, prepare for jobs. Uh, honestly, these kind of sound a little bit vague until they get into specifics here, um, these first two courses, but let's go check out Coursera and see what's up over here. So as with all the certificates over on uh, Coursera, you can enroll for free and it gives you seven days access and then it wants you to pay, what is it, 49 bucks a month. Now, if you view all the courses though, we'll scroll down here, we can uh, see the course details on each of these courses and learn what we're going to be covering. Then we can, let's find something that looks interesting. Here, this uh, course four, you can go straight into the course and we can actually now enroll for, for free, click this button. And when we're in the individual course, it lets us audit it. So we can take any of these courses for free. You just can't take the actual full certificate for free. You can do all the, all the stuff. You just won't get that certificate without uh, enrolling in the paid version. Now, they say you can do these. Let's see what the, the estimated uh, time to completion uh, six months at seven hours a week. Now, they always overstate this. Seven hours a week is not a lot to spend either, though. Um, I did the first data analytics certificate in like two and a half months, I think. I paid for three months. It was basically like half the time that they had estimated. So if you put in some time, and I wasn't doing it full time either. I was just kind of going through it at a a brisk pace, but it, it should not be a problem for you to do it a lot faster than, than they recommend or they estimate rather. Now I'm on the course page here and in many of these, here we go. Okay. It's, it's laid out a little bit differently, but here we'll go week to week, see everything that you're going to be covering week to week. So GI versus CLI, that's, you know, a graphical interface versus a command line, uh, test your knowledge, activities, Linux operating system. So you can dive into all the details here and see uh, how detailed or not they really go. They're going to be doing some bash stuff. Uh, incidentally, Free Code Camp has a really good, um, it's a Postgres based uh, back end course that they get into some bash uh, on several of those lessons that, that was uh, pretty in depth. I would imagine it'd be more in depth than what they're doing here. Databases and SQL, uh, same thing here, where clause and or not, some very basic SQL stuff here. All right, but you can do that for all the courses. So I was on the professional certificate page. This will be linked down in the description. And then from each of these courses, you can just click into it. So let's see like one of these weirdly titled one, Sound the Alarm, Detection and Response. What are we covering 
in this course. Let's scroll down here. Introduction to detection and response events. Developing plans. So I've seen this in uh, the courses that I've taken before too. There's kind of some managerial level stuff that uh, will sometimes, oftentimes take precedent over hard raw skills. Um, and not to discount the importance of it by any means, just, just so you know, that could be heavy in here. Network monitoring and analyses, unit packets, learning about packet captures, TCP dump. So they're getting into the weeds a little bit here. Uh, let's find the Python stuff, shall we? Automate cybersecurity tasks with Python. Let's just go ahead and head into here. Four modules. Interesting uh, how the modules here are formatted differently. Even on these course pages, they don't have it uniform yet. It's all good. So we've got an intro to Python. So just very, very basic stuff. I wonder if they expect you to have any knowledge of programming generally. It doesn't look like necessarily you could probably walk into this not knowing very much at all. Writing effective Python, return statements, modules, libraries, functions, variables. So, you know, we're, we're going to be spending at least one module, which is broken into these four weeks on kind of getting up to speed with some basic Python. Uh, accessing tests, uh, text files and parsing them, parsing an algorithm. Okay, uh, what do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below uh, as you look through and or take this professional certificate. Is it detailed enough for your liking? Uh, could it have gone into the weeds more with the technical aspects of it? Let's check out this. There's usually a capstone project of some sort in the final course. Here it's it's this, uh, s this second style of formatting for the modules, kind of like the Python course. Protect data, escalate in incidents, communicate effectively to stakeholders. So this is kind of that managerial level stuff that they're getting into. Engage with the community and find, oh, hello, Adobe Illustrator. Uh, save changes to this wonderful red arrow. Uh, no, I think, I think we're good. And goodbye. Uh, find and apply for cybersecurity jobs and engage with the community. So one of the things Google is touting on their security programs, you'll find it in the write-up article. Employers that would like to hire our certificate graduates or use our certificates for reskilling can uh, join our employer. Uh, what is this word? Consortium? Yeah. So this is one of their big things where they've got this employer consortium where employers sign on knowing the content of the courses, uh, allegedly, and then knowing that if somebody gets through the course, they want to hire the person with that skill. And then folks like you sign on who are learning the skills to hook up with the employers. I looked into this um, a good deal. And in fact, let's just load it up and see what it looks like today. Oh, check this out. The job platform is deprecated as of February 7th, no longer accepting new profiles, sign up for the new job platform on Career Circle. So this has been deprecated uh, since I did this a couple years ago, which makes sense because I was not super impressed with that platform when I did it. So it looks like they've got a new consortium through this Career Circle portal. I'm hopeful for job seekers that it is better than what I found the other one to be. Hey, let me know in the comments if you are planning on taking this cyber security certificate by Google. Looks like a pretty cool one. Uh, I'm interested in it, interested to hear what you have to say about it and whether or not you think it's worth the money or whether or not it would be even worth auditing the courses for the knowledge versus going somewhere else. Uh, where else have you seen cybersecurity certificates such as these? And what's the value for Google's versus someone else's? Let me know. Uh, thanks for watching and please hit like and subscribe. Appreciate you. You're awesome. Bye.